Hey, good morning, everybody. Awesome fishing this week here across the state of Michigan. Uh, we've got three great reports. We got Mullet Lake up in the Sheboygan area. We've got Traverse City area on Lake Leelanau. Those are from Captain Brian Bice from To Be Caught Charters. Then we slide over to the Alpena region with Captain Steve Hubert from Chum Bucket. We're gonna talk about Presque Isle and Thunder Bay. Stay tuned for three great reports. Midwest Steel Carports is Michigan's premier steel building manufacturer. We manufacture and install custom steel buildings throughout Michigan. Our engineer certified steel buildings are fully tailored to fit your every need and our up to 40 year warranty protects your investment. From residential storage sheds to commercial warehouses, let our team work with you to find your ideal building. For more information and pricing, visit MidwestSteelCarports.com. Hey guys, three great reports coming to you today from Northern Michigan. So we're gonna start over in the Sheboygan Indian River area on Mullet Lake. Captain Brian Bice from To Be Caught Charter specializes in fishing that particular area for a couple of months, July and August, and a little bit into September. And I'll tell you what, he tells me that the fishing's been fantastic on Mullet Lake. So we just saw a show a couple, or this past, I think this past week, on one of my excursions with Brian, caught lots of fish. Well, that same bite is still going on. You've got deep water trolling with slow death rigs behind bottom bouncers or tadpoles. That's been what's been going on for the last six weeks. Um, so if you're looking for what general area, there, it's, it's the deep water areas on the north end of the lake that have been producing the best, you know, out in front of Loja State Park, but out push off the ledge into that deep water. Now, the presentation has been slow death rigs. I liked, we caught most of our fish on the Walleye Nation Creation Double Trouble Slow Death Harness uh, with just the styrofoam spinny pulled behind two ounce bottom bouncers. You can also pull them if they're up off the bottom suspended uh, with uh, tadpoles. They work really great, offshore product. And of course, you know, basically it's just a find the schools situation. The fish are starting to scatter a little bit, so you've gotta be kinda on them in order to catch those fish. Uh, so, Lake, Le Lake uh, Mullet Lake, up in the Sheboygan Indian River area right now for some really, really good trolling for walleyes. And the fish will start to move to structure as it cools down. Let's slide over to the northwest side of the state in the Traverse City region. Brian's also had a couple of charters over there. He really likes to fish Lake Leelanau, whether it's casting jerk baits or running slip bobbers in the weeds. And he's had some really good trips the last couple of times out, as you see the pictures going across the screen, uh, casting slip bobbers in weed pockets there on the shoreline weed beds on Lake Leelanau. Now, this is a super healthy lake, so there's no problem with the fish population there and the keeper fish population. In fact, Brian tells me that he caught more shorts than legals and he caught a very nice amount of legals, which speaks to the health of the fishery. There's a lot of different year classes coming up uh, to feed that Lake Leelanau fishery. And a lot of people I know go there and sometimes they'll struggle with, man, John, I can't really catch a lot of fish on Lake Leelanau. You've got to up your game when it comes to learning how to fish around weeds. Another presentation that Brian likes to do, which I just did and we'll, you'll see it next year on my Lake Cadillac show, is to go ahead and go into those cabbage patches with, I use a Strike King 375 or a cutter worm, weedless, and go right in there with a weight and, 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 and jiggle those and get it to the bottom and work it through or rip it through the weeds. There's walleyes there and they're willing and active and ready to bite. You just have to get the bait to them because they get into those weeds and they feed on the perch and the bait fish that are in those weeds. And I'm telling you what, uh, they're catchable, but you gotta, you gotta work for them. Hey, let's slide over also and talk just a little bit quickly about Steve Hubert, Chum Bucket Charters. He's up out of Presque Isle, gonna be moving to Thunder Bay shortly. Look at the pictures going across the screen here. Steve's got some midweek openings um, for, the, for the rest of September. Now that season closes October 1, so you got just a couple of more weeks to fish with Steve. And as you see these pictures, he's catching steelhead, he's catching coho, he's catching walleye, he's putting kings in the boat at times, along with the ever-present lake trout. 
This has been, a, as Steve puts it, a stupid season for catching fish. Um, we've been out with him twice. He's been in my boat twice. We have whacked him both times. If you're looking for an awesome adventure, get up to the greater Alpena area, whether you're fishing out of Presque Isle or Thunder Bay. Steve Hubert from Chum Bucket Charters will put you on the fish and you'll go home with a cooler of fish, a ton of fillets, and you'll probably be taking his business card home with him to make your booking for next year. Wyandotte Lure manufactures soft plastic baits and fishing tackle right here in the Detroit area. Our famous original Wyandotte worm and the new Motor City Minnow are made with our own special blend of material that is soft enough for a fish to bite, but durable enough to use all day. Our baits are available in over 30 different fish catching colors. Just another reason why Wyandotte Lure is known as the king of the river. Go to WyandotteLure.com or ask for them at your local bait and tackle store. Hey guys, uh, three great places to fish right now. And in the fall, uh, those three lakes really turn on. Now those fish on mullet will start to become structure oriented and set up on the points. That's when you can throw glide baits or swim baits at them and catch a lot of nice smallmouth and walleye. Same with Leelanau. The jerk bait bite is gonna start happening as these weeds start to lay down and die. That bite is awesome. Steve Hubert's pretty much done for the year on October 1, but I'll tell you what, you've got a lot to look forward to in Northern Michigan this fall.